Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm Justin and today we're going to do smoked tri-tip with chimichurri sauce. Stick around. So what we have here is a choice tri-tip. The old tri-tip. Let's get this out of the bag. Let's pat this dry. So the tri-tip, as you can see, one, two, three, three different tips. So the tri-tip is uh, something that's not very common to our area, although it is growing in popularity. Uh, this is sometimes known as a Santa Maria steak, very popular in California. So there is some silver skin that we need to trim off of here and some fat, so let's get that taken care of. This fat I'm gonna leave. Uh, that's the stuff that I think will, will render down pretty well. So once the tri-tip reaches about 120 degrees internally, we are gonna uh, take it off the smoker, let it sit for a little while, and get our flat top nice and hot so we can give this a good sear. Let's flip it over. Let me shape this up a little bit. This part right here is really concerning me. I think it will kind of burn, so I'm gonna try to round that off a little bit. a little better. Here's some silver skin. I'll knock that off. I'm not too concerned with this side. This side looks a lot better than the other side did, so I'm not too concerned with doing a whole lot more. I think that's pretty good. We want to leave some fat. So we're going to roll with some uh, binder today. We're just going to use mustard. You won't taste this mustard at all, so don't worry about it. So today we're going to roll with our Cask and Q proprietary blend. This is mostly salt, pepper, onion, and garlic, 16 mesh black pepper, kosher salt. We're gonna go pretty heavy today. I want a lot of flavor on this thing, and I want it to get a good bark. Because remember, we're slicing this when we eat it. So you want flavor on each slice, don't you? Of course you do. Of course you do. Don't be afraid to go heavy. Don't forget the sides, as Chud always says. Flip it over, same thing. All right, looks good. We're gonna let that sit while we get the Blaze Kamado fired up to about 275 degrees. So we are gonna be using the old Blaze Kamado today. We already have charcoal that's in here from the last cook. This is lump charcoal. We're gonna use our little tumbleweeds to get this going. <sighs> it's so hot out here, 102 degrees or something. I don't know. That's how much I love my tens and tens of viewers. Thank you. Hey, if you don't mind, tens and tens of viewers, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It's going to help us out a lot. It's the best way to support Cask and Q. Thank you. So uh, this tri-tip is ready to get on the grill. We're rocking about 250 degrees. Let's take it over there and get it started. All right. I'm going to kind of squish it up um, so that it has more thickness to it. And we're just going to let this sit until the internal temperature is about 120, and we'll be back. So while we wait for that tri-tip to get up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and make a chimichurri sauce. It's basically just a green sauce that complements grilled meat really, really well. You'll need some olive oil or balsamic vinegar. I'm rolling with balsamic today. A shallot, one head of parsley, one lemon, and some garlic. Now we'll try to remove uh, as much of the stem as we can. We don't want that woody taste that goes along with that and pick out the pieces that may be wilted or, or that don't look that great. I try to use just the, the brightly colored pieces. And if you don't get all of it, it's not that big of a deal. A lot of people use oregano in their uh, chimichurri sauce, but I'm not a huge oregano fan, so I'm gonna leave that out. I like oregano and like spaghetti sauce and that kind of thing, but just not my jam when it comes to grilled uh, when it comes to grilled meat. But you do you. You can really just do whatever you want with the stuff. I mean, there's no completely right or wrong way with the chimichurri sauce. There's also a red chimichurri sauce you can make, uh, but obviously we're not doing that here today. All right, next we're gonna chop all this up. Let's go 
go ahead and get this into the container. It's getting a little windy outside and we hate for all this to blow away. We're gonna get this shallot in thin slices. We'll dice these down pretty fine. You don't want the shallot to be the star of the sauce, so I'm just using one, or half of one, sorry. If you like a little more, you can add more, but I think half a shallot is plenty for the amount that we're making. Let's get that into the container as well. Let's get this lemon juice in there. It's gonna add some brightness to the flavor. All right, next up is the garlic. You can use minced garlic that's already in the little jar. That's totally fine, but it's not nearly as good as freshly diced garlic. They're looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and hit it with the dash of that balsamic. The balsamic can be pretty strong, so just a dab will do you. Let's add some olive oil. Then let's come in with some of our uh, cask and cue rub. Salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. Mix it all together. Mm. Man, that looks good. And really, if you make this like the day before, you're gonna use it, it's even better. Leave it in the fridge. I think we might need a little more olive oil. Okay. There we go. That's kind of what we're looking like. All right, that is done. Crisis. We overshot our temperatures by about five degrees, 125. Let's pull this thing off of here. So right there is a perfect example of why you need to keep track of what you're doing and time management. I didn't manage my time well. I overshot the tri-tip. I took too long to make the chimichurri. Well, really, I took too long to start making the chimichurri. So we're gonna have to salvage it and see how it goes. So our next step is gonna be to get the flat side of the grill grate screaming hot so we can sear off this tri-tip. Let's get the old Blaze gas grill ripping and roaring. All right, here we're gonna use some canola oil. It's less likely to flare up since it has a high flash point. After 30 seconds of searing, we're gonna give it a flip. Well, perhaps not my best job at filming. Sorry about that last segment, lost the audio. What are you gonna do? Hey, let's dig into this and see how we did. Tri-tip's kind of funny. It has grains that run that way and that in that way. So I like to split the difference, cut right down the middle. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, I think we did okay. Yeah. Sear is really nice. Right, we're gonna use some of this chimichurri sauce. This is really gonna complement that beefy flavor. There we go. Let's go ahead and give this guy a try. Mmm. Man, that is so good. I don't know if I have any green stuff in my teeth or not. I don't care. The chimichurri takes it to the next level. You've got to try that recipe. You can do red wine vinegar. You can do balsamic like I did. You can do less lemon. You can do more lemon. You can add some sugar in there if you want to. Just make it yours, but give it a shot. It's so freaking good. You're going to want to do this again and again and again and again. 
Uh, so before you leave, if you don't mind, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It's the best way to support our channel. I'm Justin with Cask and Q, and we'll see you next time.